I ordered this deep freeze. It was a really nice deep freeze, over 300. And it said it had a, you know, you get they give you the arrival date and that kind of thing. And I wasn't even tripping. I was just like, it'll be here when it when it gets here. Something I got tugged on to look into the delivery and find out they had delivered it to somebody else's address. And um, I had called FedEx to alert them and let them know I didn't have the deep freeze in my possession, but it went to somewhere else in a different city to somebody else's address. And the blessing was. You know, I made the call to FedEx. I let them know. And, um, you know, they they tell you to go through this circle or whatever and these different chain of commands to try to get your money back because they swore up and down that it came to my place. And I was just like, I'm not going to argue with nobody. I was just like, I left it alone. Thank you. Have a nice day. You know what I'm saying? So I gave it to God. I said, Lord. I am not going to let my mood get, um, just go, I'm not going to go in another place in my mind <coughs> of doubt or anything or, you know, just start tripping about it. So, um, I gave it to God and I left it alone. And so he told me to go ahead and go to Amazon and request my, all my money back and told him that I didn't have it in my possession. He said, just like that. He said, I'll take care of the rest. I did that and I got a full refund back within a few days. And I had a situation, and, and the blessing was, the per, you know, what the Spirit, Holy Spirit told me is the where that deep freeze ended up, the people um, needed it more, evidently. So it was able to bless somebody else, you know, what the devil means for evil, God turns things around for good. So um, I didn't, the, the, the lesson in that is I didn't complain, I just... I seriously gave it before God because I know in the past that he came through for me many times before. And so it's just, he's always like, I'll take care of the details. I'll take care of the details. And, you know, you just take this first step and I'll do everything else. And, and he did it. He did it speedily. And I ordered my son this really nice scooter. And I was hesitating at first and it was close to 300 and um i was hesitating to get it and i was like i don't know you know but i just went ahead and got it anyway but anyway dad didn't arrive at the time it was supposed to i checked into it and this time i didn't make no phone calls i just said i did not receive the scooter got my few full refund quickly within a few days so I just said all this to say as far as the testimony, how God is good and he is working speedily for a lot of you um, right now. I mean, speedily, because, um, you know, you don't have to I didn't have to get on the phone and argue and going through any chain of command. The Lord knew my heart was pure that I didn't receive, you know, no gifts here. And then I'm lying about it. You know what I'm saying? And so um, he's definitely on your side to take care of things for you quickly when, you you know, you, you're walking in a pure heart um, and you trust in God with every aspect of your life, every aspect, because he knows what's best. But in this season, you know, he's doing things so speedily. I mean, how God blessed me with the check just coming in the mail. I did not expect it, you know, just my gas tank only was close to empty. And I put on, I had like $14 and so I put it in there and my tank went all the way up to full and it normally takes uh, more money to fill up my tank like that. So all goodness, um, I mean, all praises <laughs> to God. He's so good all the time. And this is just a testimony for my soul because I'm, I'm like, I'm asking God, I was like, am I thanking you enough or because sometimes we can just really go back, get in our head, but continue to praise God. Get out of your head and praise God and, and just lift your heart to him. Even if you don't even have the words to say, lift your heart to him. Don't complain. Remember where God, how God has blessed you in the past and how he can just speak a word and make 
any situation happen. I mean, he spoke in the, you know, the stars went into the sky, the moon, you know, he created, you know, the flowers, let there be light. Oh. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns and he rules. So, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever your situation is, when God tell you to take the, just a faith move, don't complain, whatever, throw it in, give it to God completely in his hands and go about your business doing it, whatever else he called you to do. And do not focus on what could go wrong. Because if it seemed like it's wrong, that's fine. God, again, in the word it says, he'll turn whatever's, whatever's meant for evil or bad, God will turn it around to work for you and all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and that are called according to his purpose. You got to believe and hold, you know, hold that true to your heart and your mind. You got to eat it. You got to, you know, um, meditate on it and really believe just because you don't see the father before you doesn't mean he isn't there. And that's where we're walking in faith. In the unseen, you know, um, faith is a substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen, there is no evidence. You don't see any evidence. You don't know the day. You don't know the, the time. You don't know when. Sometimes you don't even know where or what's going on. Lord, the Heavenly Father, you know, you, you just walk in by faith and, it's, and it's, a, it's a road of um, uncertainty a lot of times because you don't want to lean to your own understanding because you did that so many times in your life. I know I have, um, but God is working things out fast um, and he, he's answering prayers, this beautiful thing. Like, Blessed is he that hasn't seen, but still believes. Blessed is he that has not seen the face of our Lord. Blessed is he that hasn't seen but still believes. Glory to God. I didn't expect to go this long, but that's okay. Um, remember, 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 remember how good God is and how all you got to do is just totally depend on him and his words and be obedient to what he is saying to your spirit and when you know you know when god is speaking to your spirit because he always also sends someone else to confirm a thing that he has already told you before they told them he's not gonna tell somebody else your business first before he tells you first he's gonna put it in your your spirit and this is how you will not be fooled and you know when the word is for you. I didn't know I was going here. But that's you know. Um, that's what I wanted to share. You know when a word is for you. When God has already told you first. About a situation. God bless you guys. I hope you have a beautiful night. Just remember all the. The many ways that God has came through for you. I mean, when he told me to go into full-time ministry. It, it took, it's, it, it was a lot of testing in that area for me. It was a lot of stretching. It was a lot of um, plucking out old ways and old mindsets. When he called me in a full-time ministry, you're learning and you're growing along the way. You don't know it all when you go into ministry. Um, ministry starts at the home, the family. It starts at home. Many people want to go out beyond their own walls at home to minister to people out there in the street. But you got to you gotta make sure that what you got going on in your home is, is tight with the Lord your, min your ministry in your home is how you minister and uphold one another how you help push someone in their creativity and their gifts and how you encourage and uplift that individual and how you only, you ask God how to love them how to um, take care of the individual in your home your family not going to always get it right, but God is, he's always right there. He's always right there. So remember, remember, <laughs> you 
God bless you guys. Um, that's his all.